Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> anyway. How's it going, everyone? My name is Eric Hugh here. On Welcome back to part three of oh, Dead Man's Journey. Wow, the actually lighting outside looks really nice. So hopefully uh, you can still be able to see my face because the sun is going down as I record more of these parts. So hopefully you, I won't have an issue. But we last left off after we just opened this brand new... Doom door. Yes. Well, anyway, so... Let's see what horrors await us in this level, shall we? Another generic. I don't think that's a good idea. What about if I go over here? I can go over here. Yeah, screw you, dude. I'm going over here. Screw you. What are you gonna do? You gonna kill me? You gonna kill me, bruh? You gonna kill me? <laughs> no, nothing? Nothing? Absolutely nothing. Really? Alright, well, yeah, sure. I'll go to the door. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to turn around like an idiot here. And as for caution and safety, I have again. This is fake, but there's no trigger. But I don't care. It's a gun. Let's get started. All right, demon f flagellum, whatever the hell thing you are, come at me, brah. I wait. Ow. Okay, I really have to turn that down. Just a tiny bit, because that thing is super annoying. All right, so where are you, brah? Where are you at, brah? Can I still go in the bathroom? Oh, he's not going to say anything this time. Ah. Well, maybe he died when he was taking a massive crap. Oops. <laughs> uh, September 4th, 2006. Oh, what was that? 10 years ago. Cool. <laughs> Good math, you. Good. Yes. You get a gold star for that. I had no idea it was them. I haven't seen them for six years. How could I forget their faces so soon? The things I've done to them. How I killed them. It's impossible to live on. Anyway. Well, in this case scenario, my good sir, you're supposed to do that because otherwise you would be sent to jail and you would rot in jail and die there. Well, if you had choice A or B, you probably had to go to jail. Why am I trying to get to announcer now? I'm turning into an announcer. If you had theories and B, you will not chat my toes this time. <clears throat> anyway, oh, he closed the door on me. What a bitch! You son of a. Ugh. Oh god, that sun is right in my face, dude. What? I don't have any. Oh, man, I can't see square. Oh, now I get to go to the bathroom. You're not going to close the door on my face, are you? Are you? No, you shot me in the face. Yeah, thanks for that. I was uh, Either that or the bullet went up my... Is that me? Ah! Oh. oh. Don't close on me. I got it again. Kind of. Bring it again. Bring it again, bitch! Bring it again! What? What happened? Whoa! Trippy! Someone's been taking too much. Sorry. Yeah, limbo, bitch. Are oh, you done talking? Okay. <clears throat> 
So is this just my life now? Walking in limbo infinitely and going through the same dreams over and over again? I do know a thing about purgatory, limo, and all that stuff. I watch way too much of a certain show, I'm not gonna say what. <clears throat> so, I, really? Why well, just jump off? <laughs> okay. Whoa, what? Do I just. Alrighty then. Alright, well, there's one, so let's see what the other one was. I think I have to go to each. Alright, let's see what this one is. Alright, nothing then. Alright, what the heck am I supposed to do? I'm sorry. Am I supposed to turn back? Or am I supposed to, like, shove myself in the fire and burn myself? And now it's just a big block of nothing. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I hope I didn't fall off the edge or anything. I would suck. Am I just infinitely in limbo now? Like, limbo is literally. Sorry. Can I speak now? Anyway, so limbo is like a place of infinite. Uh, uh. Jur uh journeyism. If that. I'm talking here and explaining my theoretical theories. Thank you. Anyway, if you look at Limbo, basically what it is is just that it's an infinite place that you can live the same dream over and over and over. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, bro. Anyway, when you're in limbo, you're you live in the same dream for the rest of your life. No matter if you can't, if your body doesn't go to hell or heaven. In a nutshell, basically. So, uh. Heaven or hell? Well, you did kill your parents. So, I mean, and you, but he wasn't fully aware of it. So, either, either that he was under the substance of drugs or he was just drunk, which what the guy said, that he was drunk. Uh, so, I guess probably hell? Why would he be sent to heaven? If he was sent to heaven, then he would be completely innocent throughout the whole case, but... In this situation, I would say hell. I mean, he killed his freaking parents, man. He had to let his sister alive, which doesn't make sense. I don't know why he did that. I don't know. Maybe he has a thing about not killing girls, but... I mean, I'm a nice guy. I really am. I probably wouldn't let him live in heaven. I mean, even though technically part of your soul would be in hell. This has gotten off to a weird topic now, isn't it? Huge philosopher person here, okay? So, I mean, I could do two different parts. So, like, if I can replay this again and try it in the heaven, and if there's two different endings to this, like, for this one, I can say hell, and then maybe the next part, I can come back again and try uh, heaven. If there's two different parts, then I can find out. If not, then I might have to end the video after this. This might be the last part, but my, you know, theory is going towards hell because this guy has committed a crime, however... Well, that's true, but however, he wasn't fully aware of it. But again, he could have been under the substance of drugs, or he was drinking too much. So, I don't know. I'm saying hell. If you guys say heaven, give me a logical reason why. I mean, I'm just going with what I'm seeing and what I'm listening to what this guy is telling me. And saying that he killed himself because he was so mesmerized that he killed everybody else in his house. I mean... Hell? 
truth be told, I can't sit and let you off. Indeed, you will be going to hell, no doubt. Though, not for eternity. Really? You will spend a large portion of time constantly looking through your memories, as you had already done. Uh. Yes, this time, your deeper emotions will be accessed and presented upon you. Once you have gone through what you deserve, I will then judge you once more, decide whether an eternal stay at heaven or hell will be best suited for you. With that said, this is the last time I will be speaking to you for quite some time. I wish you luck, John. Wow, there we go. Until we meet again. Wow, that was actually really interesting. All right, let me turn this down just a tiny bit. So anyway, yeah, that was a really interesting little concept, to be honest with you. I think I made the right choice. Like what the guy said, I probably wouldn't give you a second ch uh, second chance. But if you have committed something and you're willing to go to hell because you want, because you know you did it and you know it was wrong, it seems logical. You know what I mean? So like, it seems logical that you would have to pick hell because you know you did something wrong. That, you know, in your mind, there's no way you could have thought that that was right. Killing all these people. Or your family, especially your family. I mean, come on. That's just wrong. On all levels. But I think that makes sense. Going to hell makes sense for this character because um, he is willing to fuss up to it. He is willing to agree that, yes, I have done wrong. And I think I deserve to go to hell instead of looping through my dreams for eternity. So, like what the guy said at the end of the game, that's actually kind of true. Because... Uh, I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling on at the moment, but logically, if you think about it, if you admit the truth, you might have a better chance of uh, not spending your life in eternity in a certain field, or either heaven or hell in limbo. So, um, I would have fussed up to it. If it was me, I would probably fuss up to it. I would probably just say, yes, I did something wrong, and yes, I deserve to go to hell. However, the guy, the voice is saying, Wow, really? You, you, you decided to do the right thing. You wanted to go to hell because you know you did something wrong. I think that's kind of interesting. This is a really interesting game. Uh, besides the jump scares, which are fantastic, it scared me shiznitzlit. Yay. But the, uh, the philosophical you know, concept behind this is very unique. I mean, that's just me thinking ethically because I'm a philosophy and ethical kind of person. But tell me what you guys think. I mean, should, uh, should he really go to heaven, or should he just agree and fuss up and go to hell? I think he should have just agreed, yes, I should have gone to hell. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, play this game for yourself. It'll be in the description below. Uh, come up with your own kind of theories. Let me know what you guys think and how uh, you see the situation and kind of put, your own, put yourself in this guy's shoes and just kind of like... Uh, come up with a better understanding of what you think, basically. Uh, but anyway, so that is it for Dead Man's Journey. Fantastic horror game. Uh, the developer is down there. I think it's Santislo Truchowski. I think I said that right. If, if not, I'm sorry. But this game is actually on... Uh, where, did, where did I get this from? I don't know. It's in the description below. But anyway, if you guys have any other horror games you want me to try out, uh, please leave the name of it down in the description below or shoot me the link. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video. See you guys later. That's what I meant to say. Bye.